In this video for the Open Buildings Designer HVAC Design Professional Series course, we'll place some supply diffusers. Now I'm in this file and work set that was created in the previous video. If you haven't watched that one, I recommend going and watching the first video in this series. From the ribbon interface, I am in the mechanical tab and I'll come to the air terminals tool. So I'll choose that tool. The property panel opens up. I've got my property panel docked over on the right here, if I drag it out from there, see it looks like that. So I'm keeping mine docked on the right. You can dock this to the left or right of your interface using those docking glyphs. So I'll just get it docked over here. I also noticed that my ribbon interface has changed to display the placement place ribbon. So I've got some options for placing my air terminals. My floor selector is set to the ground floor down here. We're working in this retail grocery area of the example project here. In the property panel, I see that my catalog type is diffusers grills, and then I can choose my catalog item from this list right here. And the one I wanna choose is diffuser round ceiling round diffuser top. Now you can adjust how this displays. You can either have it showing you the preview there or you can do a list and you can even come in here and type in a search. So you can see how it's highlighting the search. There's also recently used at the top of the list. So once you start placing particular catalog items, they'll be in this recently used list. So again, I'm looking for the diffuser round ceiling, round diffuser top. Now the one I chose is round diffuser side. That top and side indicates the connection to that air terminal. So let me go back in here. And that's the one that I'll use on this particular area that I'm going to place these air terminals. So diffuser, round ceiling, round diffuser top. Again, you can see the top indicating that it's connected. We do have this preview in the property panel. You can always say hide the preview here or show the preview. And the preview does have a few view controls over here that you can use on it. Down here in the property panel are our data group properties and they are grouped into the definitions for these data group properties, notice you can always just list them alphabetically. So a couple of different options. And again, we have a search in here. I'll put it back on the categorize way of displaying it here. I will set the construction phase to new construction. Scroll down my list a little bit here. And for the connection, this is where I define the size of the connection. I'll set it to 12 inches. My body cone height, I have set to five. My body comb diameter, I'll set to 36. You'll notice the preview changes as you adjust these dimensional data group properties here. My top diameter, I'll leave it 18 connection length two. I will change the grill type to number seven, round slots. Again, you can notice the changing in the preview up there. My grill diameter, I'll set to 36. And my grill thickness, I'll set it to three. So I'm hitting the tab key on my keyboard as I'm clicking in here and enter the values and then doing a tab to accept those values. I'll set an airflow rate for 600. This will be used when we do the HVAC system sizing utility in a subsequent video in this class set of videos. And the outlet pressure, I'll put it 0.25. So those are the property values I'll set for the class. Now up in my placement options here, I have part family orientation, size and shape turned off. 
I'm going to use take advantage of the base offset and put that to 12 feet. Again, I'm just hitting a tab on my keyboard to accept that entry there. Double check my family and part setting. So my family is set to diffuser, part is set to supply new. And I can come in and work in any of the views. I'll come right here in view one, which I've got in an isometric orientation. And I can keep an eye on view two, which I've got in a top orientation kind of see where I'm locating that in the XY direction. I know that in the Z direction, it's going to be placed at 12 feet because I have the base offset. I have my floor selector set to ground. I've got my ACS locks turned on and I've got my base offset set to 12. So I'll come over here and get one started. I'll place it here and I'll maximize the top view get zoomed in here some and I'll utilize the top view here to place more of these supply diffusers. So I'll continue to place them. I can use AccuDraw here to lock the axis and if I want them to be a particular distance apart, let's say they're they're 20 feet apart. I can use AccuDraw. Don't forget that AccuDraw remembers that last value that you entered in and as I stop right where I'm at, I see that kind of hash mark at the end of that line that gets displayed when we're locking our axis, the index of AccuDraw. I'll get another one here. I can always move these later or even use the copy command to get some more in there. And get one more here. I know in my design I'm going to have some right about here. Again, using AccuDraw to lock my index. And I'll put one here. Now, in this design, there is a mezzanine over here. Looks like I might need to move those over some, so I'll do that. But these ones, are, there's four that are kind of underneath the mezzanine, so I'm going to change the base offset for those ones that are underneath that mezzanine. So I'll change the base offset to 8 feet and 10 inches, working in my imperial units. There we go, 8 feet 10, and I'll place four diffusers kind of right in here. I'll lock my AccuDraw index, get one right there, one right here, and one right about there. Now, like I said, once I've placed these, maybe I can go, well, you know, I didn't get these, I'll move these. Just looking at the top view here and how I've got them placed in there. I'll move them over some. And maybe I need one kind of down over here towards these the entry here. So again, like I said, I can copy if I need to. Saw so where I moved some of them, I copied some of them. So now there we go. I've got some supply diffusers placed in this retail area of the project here. If we look at it in all of my views, take a look at it here. There you can see that slab for the mezzanine over here. If I do that control shift right click, I can rotate my view around. Take a look at it, how it looks as we rotate the view. So I've got some supply diffusers placed. In the next video, we'll create 
a air handling unit library for the work set where we will create a custom air handling unit in the video after that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.